I don't know if that was a fish, but it's a good, pretty good mark about a foot off the bottom there. Oh, you did get a fish. I did get a fish. The fish, you had a, oh my God. Told you. Fish on, fish on. Real Rogers, real Rogers, real Rogers. He's in the net. Nice. Yeah. Hit him right on the eyes. Ooh, kiss him. You gotta kiss him. Oh, he kissed him too. Hey all you guys, welcome to another episode of Addictive Life. Today we're gonna to be out here fishing for Spring Chinook. And today is my first freaking day, and I'm super excited. I've been on steelhead, I've been a good boy. Haven't even twirled a herring yet, so we got in the boat this morning, got everything dialed up, ready to go. So, I don't know, I've heard of a few fish caught. There's been a few of our buddies that have caught fish. Seems to be going off, we got some great weather today, and we're gonna go give it hell. So be sure to give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. And hopefully, we'll be putting some blood in this nice, clean boat of mine. So, stay tuned. Who hooked this up? Did you do that? Yeah. Murder. We lose the I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what is it? I didn't do oh, this. I picked it up. I think Jason. I think Jason put this I didn't one together. Do that one. <laughs> Are you guys? It is the first trip of the season, I like right? The 200 pound test to the 20 pound weight drop, leader, mm -hmm. followed by the 30 pound P line leader. I wonder, you know, it's it's, it's this, it's the break, it's the quick breakaway system. Mm -hmm. We're just seeing if there's any fish out here. We're not trying to get them to the boat. We don't hook yeah, we just, wanna, we just want to hook one and you see what it feels like for a minute. No, you see the bite. Yeah, about exactly. five seconds, and then when it breaks yeah. off, yep. you're just after the tug. It's like we're fly fishing out here or something. <laughs> Yeah, just fly fishing out here. Want to talk about some pretty bait? That's some pretty bait. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. I'm just gonna do all these in cutties today, just to start. You're not a terrible herring fisherman. So. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think that you should be letting me do this. <laughs> like, I'm just being honest. Give it, give it the track record. I'm, I'm not even gonna try to pretend. It doesn't matter how much I watch the video. Just can't learn it. Yeah, just... Today we're out here fishing with Cameron Black at Gone Catch and Guide Service. Only guide on the Columbia River that had any seats open. So we're just trying to help him out, get, get his name out there, fill some seats. <laughs> so, see if we can't get you guys to book some trips with them. We'll see you guys. There you go, Cameron. A little, little publicity for Thanks, you. Thanks, I could use it. A little help. Thanks, man. <laughs> Starving these days. <laughs> All right, we're at 482. <laughs> Sounds good. Why were you set that counter? No, I did. Alright, so first pass of the year, dang it, but I think we're going to run up river and find some cleaner water. Sure looks good, nice, no wind, baits are spinning good, it'll happen. Doesn't he look like my guide looks like an assassin, look at him, he's just out here to kill stuff. Springer fishing. Nah. I'm excited. 
you know, the only springer fishing I was gonna do this year was bass, but I guess I'm gonna be out here. Yeah, first full moons on Wednesday. Cool. They should start uh, thinking about some pre spawn, huh? Getting moving around a little bit. Bass. What the hell's a bass? Actually, I would love for there to be some bass right now. Because that would probably mean it'd be pretty warm. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah, it did. It is kind of rocky in here, though, but I'm not. But you were also dragging pretty good. That's what I love about this plant. There's always these little random rocks. Always good for a good, quick little pull down just to make you pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> so, Eric did catch one. Nice. It's on the board That's today. what they look like. Couldn't wait five minutes to post that pick. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him though. It's, it's springer season. You got him, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. That's cool. You felt was weird. Yeah, you're I looked up my counter and I was like, I have this like speech I give people. Because <laughs> I tell them that I have never tangled a rod in like 15 years. And if they do it the way I tell them to do it, they'll never tangle a rod either. But maybe you should do that. Maybe I should give you the speech. Yeah, you didn't because did, it's your fault. You didn't give me the speech. You don't catch one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you did get a fish. I did get a fish. That did look really good. I should barbecue up pretty good. Let's see if it's, oh, it's clipped too. Hopefully he'll make it. <gasps> Gonna get you a new one there, bud. First fish of the day. First fish, that's a Springer clip. First, First fish of the year. First fish of the year for bike. Well, not year. First springer of the year. First salmon of the year. <laughs> Getting a little shallower, guys. Just gonna watch it. Witnessing my first springer potentially caught. Unless they got a big walleye. But I doubt that. <laughs> Let's see it. I just wanna lay eyes on one. Hold the f up. Hold it up. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. That's a springer. That's a springer. Nice job. Oh, now I'm excited. Now it's on. It's on the <laughs> Now we gotta get one. Oh boy. And I saw him go sideways kind of right down here in the middle just a little bit ago, but I'm like, yeah, it's early. It's early. When you're letting them out, it's, I tell customers they do this, and if you do it right every time, they'll never screw it up. You put it in the water, move the rod to the position where it's gonna be out. Reel it up and look at it. Like, because sometimes you're screwed before you even start, right. right? Reel it up and look at it. Let it out like two or three feet and then stop and pause and sit. Three seconds. Let that flasher get pulled back. Drop down a little bit more. Pause. Three feet. Pause. And long, deliberate pauses. If you do that, you'll never tangle a flasher. People get excited. It takes they, a lot. They get, yep, that get, takes a lot less time letting it out slow like that than getting it. Than getting it, than right. untangling. How many how many fish did Charles Bait could have gone by right exactly. now? Hey. You know, could, what a, what a, what a, a twenty pounder right that there. Twenty pounder. Dandy yeah, we could have been weighing one, but no, nope, that other guy was. Favor. <laughs> Even no, because no, 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 no. yours was screwed up. That other guy got him. Even though we weren't anywhere near that fish. But, <laughs> yeah. I just don't know if we want to get blood in your boat. I mean, I oh, really, that's my, a fish right Mike, there. Mike, Mike, Mike. That's doing? a salmon. That's a that's a salmon right there. Look at that. Look at that mark. That's a salmon though. You see it going off the screen. That was a mark. This is a fish. That's a fish. You had a. Oh my god. I told you. That was bought. Oh my god. He's still there. That's a fish. He's there. Get him, Mike. Get him. There. Fish on. Fish on. Reel rods. Reel rods. Reel rods. Reel rods. Reel rods. Dude, Dude, I let him. Eat. He's right here. Here, here, here. Come back there. What do you want? Yeah, me? yeah. Come back. Come back. Oh my gosh, we saw him with the finder and everything. Uh -huh. He is going, he's going. Well, I seen him hit him. Oh him my gosh. Like, Dude, this. Look. I was like, oh, it's no, bottom. No, 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 be easy. Be easy. No. Clear the rod, guys. Dude, I painted that one on the finder and it, the whole time he was chewing on your gears. I love it. I was like, oh, it's bottom. bottom. Oh my gosh. Laden, Laden, get that rod out of the way. Help Layden get that rod out of the way. There you go. Easy, easy, easy. 
Not yet, not yet, not yet. He's not done yet. The second he gets done throwing his head, do it. He's in the net! Nice! He's going home! Yeah. I'm pretty sure he is! <laughs> Check, yep. check, double check. Yep. Yep. Smooth, yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh, Mikey, there you go, buddy. <laughs> yes! I freaking ate it out of Just my hand, Just ate it, dude. marked him on the nice. finder like, oh, that's a bite, oh, there's a fish. Oh, wait, he's still chewing on your damn bait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. That a boy. There it is. That hook and pop. That's so this sick, buddy. <laughs> Pink twisted addiction, everything clockwork, baby. I haven't lost our touch yet. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> awesome. All right, get your get your lead uh, get your lead yeah. secured on your rod. Get back to your spots, guys. Okay. Second pass right. of the season, baby. That's awesome. Hey, my my buddy's down below us, and he said that he's seen two. Cool. Yeah, so I just saw two. Uh -huh. One of them's ours. <laughs> see if this. In the fall, in the fall, it doesn't matter. See if this Oregon fishing cool. license app will work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> that is how you start it off, Charles. Come here, bud. Get a really good shot of this guy. I'm gonna. We're gonna stand right here. Take a time. Good. <laughs> kiss him. You gotta kiss him. Oh, he kissed him too. Nice. Ooh, that's gross. Hit him right on the eyes. Ooh, harder, 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 harder. Quick, quick, harder. Come He's kind of harder, harder again. There you go. Second pass. Oh, lights down. Ready to have this full, and you had it, and it bit. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, just give it 20 seconds. Yeah. Because like sometimes they'll just they'll grab it and they'll just swim with it, and so it's like you even it. Even if you think you snagged, it's always oh, worth yeah. just waiting just yep. a little bit. And that right there oh, is my exactly hand. why. You know what sucks? My hand smells like Springer. Oh, it's so terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> terrible problem to have. In fact, I need you to wipe the whole boat, rub it down with that. There should, not be, get, should yeah. not be a scale left on that fish. Just rub the boat down. Sick, boys. Mission accomplished. Get another one now. I, I might weep. That's what you said at the dock this morning was two. Yeah, we you said two. Two, two bites. Said, two bites. Well, we got two. Well, we got, we got two. Yep. I, we should just, just, we just made now. the day. <laughs> Is Fat Moose open yet? Want to go hit the bar? <laughs> Bloody Mary. Yeah. I always kind of look at the bottom to see if it's see just if a timber, and there was like, bonk. That's what I love about that finder. It like, when it shows a fish, mm -hmm. it's just, yeah. there it is. That, that yeah. hey, dummy fish. Yeah. <laughs> yep, right here. Right, right here. There's fish <laughs> under boat. Catch him. Got it. Ah, right. Well, game on. Experience season started. Look at that, how pretty blue that is. You see that? You seeing that? Can you see that sheen? God, I could almost put that on a slice of pizza. That looks good. <laughs> Isn't that the most beautiful bait like you've ever too. seen in your life? Let's hear with its head coming. Yeah. I'm not even. Come on, dude. You just said you, you put on some pizza. Yeah. Who doesn't pick toppings off pizza? Never listening to Charles again. So Never. You ran up and he nope. said that he's seen cute fish on his way up. So he trolls down here. people in here now but I mean if there was a couple you know I mean we saw one and got one but it sounded like there was a couple more below us I'm sure word travels fast like I said this many rods in the water you should see something something go down I don't know if that was a fish but it's a good pretty good mark about a foot off the bottom there that probably was a fish watch this I think I just saw we just missed that guy right there dang it just a fish right there, boys. You guys Thanks suck! Why. You guys suck! <laughs> Dang it. Not, it wasn't as good as that other mark was, but it, that was definitely a fish. That's a fish right there. I love this finder. 
<laughs> Dang it. It was like a foot off the bottom, just a nice yep, little, nice. probably didn't get, probably wasn't under the boat, he was probably just off to the side of the sonar somewhere, running right over, but at 15 feet, he had to be pretty, he had to be in the rod somewhere. So, just talked to our good buddy, Brandon Glass, and he's been out here grinding it the last three days, and he said he got a few bites kind of during this tide change, which we got coming up. So, which is coming up now. So I think everything we saw this bonus, he was up river of us, saw a few fish this morning, and we saw, you know, a fish and caught ours and heard of a couple in our little area. So hopefully, you know, these fish kind of come and go in schools and stuff, but it's pretty encouraging because he said all his fish kind of yesterday between like nine and 11 and, you know, back it up an hour, hopefully it'll be between 10 and noon and it's 10 o'clock now. So we're on our third pass, sun just came out, those herring have got to be just twirling and shining all pretty, so see what happens give us a comment down below if you thought mike catching that fish was pretty cool in his hands oh, getting no. chewed on i'm so glad you oh, didn't man. stroke that fish and rip it away from him because <laughs> <laughs> if not you'd be getting video of mike swimming over to the shore <laughs> let him eat let him eat it i've learned that how many people think lane's gonna get one he's always he's always good for a fish or two nope not gonna get one today he doesn't even think he's gonna get one. <laughs> oh yeah i don't know man as we all say that, we're not going to get one. Why don't you turn the camera to the right there and you can see there's a guy with a fish on right now. Oh, there it is flashing behind the boat. Come on guys, get him. We're on the wrong side of the river. Charles, it's all your fault. Right? <laughs> oh, up. Oh. oh, heartbreaker. You can use barbs in this river too. Broke the leader. Broke the leader. Oh. So that that's a heartbreaker this early in the season. That's all right. At least they got. At least they gotta get one chewing and gotta see it bite a rod, I guess. That looks cool as something. Look at that. That's nuts. Suspended fish, maybe. That's a whole school of something. Smokes. I might crank his rod up real quick, but it's probably too late. That was weird. We should be fishing some at like. Maybe we should crank those bout. What are you at right now, Charles? 19. What are you at? 19. 19. Why don't you and Sean crank the 15 for a little bit? During these incoming tides. Yeah, I'm at 14. We're kind of fishing a little deep. Well, yeah, just run them. Until we see another fish caught, then you can put them back down. What I think we're going to do is we're going to probably go here and probably turn around and start working our way back down. Maybe we'll hit sand. I need, to, I need to use the bottom contouring and start mapping some of those other trolls. They are where you find them. All those bites. He is a fisherman. All those bites. The one bite. Well, I guess two if you count the small. Three. What up? Did they ever find that guy you pushed out of your boat? <laughs> Never found him. Never found him? <laughs> Lucky. I can't believe they gave you a guide license stop. back. Yeah. I don't even have a guide license. <laughs> oh, I figured. <laughs> this is big. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen any for a while. All right, little update guys. So there was some fish caught there this morning. Tides kind of changed and then it went dead, which of course the day before it sounded like the tide change spurred a little bite. So, you know, since this is my shakedown trip, um, I wanted to come down to some of these other areas. One thing nice about this hummingbird finder is I can bottom contour map these areas as you're driving over it. It prints basically a, a fine tuned map um, of the bottom where you're fishing. So if you spend a little time in these areas and you go over the top and, you know, from top to bottom in them, you can start to kind of see the contours and the little grooves and the channels and maybe the humps that the fish bite on. So it's kind of important to get out and do that a little bit, you know, while I'm, you know, like I said, it's honestly, it's a shakedown trip. So 
kind of decided to drop in here and do this. We're going to make a pass through here and then uh, just kind of keep working our way down the river. And even if we don't get another bite, it's still a successful day. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. Give us a like, thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't really matter. We just like the engagement. Thanks. All right guys, so I sent my son up here to clean the fish box and after this fish has been dead a little bit, I kind of had a look at this fish and as you can see by this really dark jaw and all that gray on the belly, this is actually a fish that's not supposed to be here. This is an upriver Columbia stock fish and uh, it should not be hanging out in the Willamette because a Willamette fish, a true Willamette fish is going to have nothing but pure white on its belly. And it's actually how they determine a lot of the stock as far as like what we're catching and the impacts we have to certain wild fish. It's actually what they use to determine that so they can set our seasons and see how our seasons are going. So kind of interesting factoid, this little, this little girl was lost. Oops. Mm -hmm. It's one o'clock now, right? Is that the right time? 12.15. Yes. Let's run down and make a little pass just on the, uh, on that downward hump on that. This is, I, got, I got one more plan I want to do and then we'll, uh, call it. Let's, let's hop down. No. Oh. Very slow. I think we're going to go and Check baits. About to catch something. You guys ready? Charles' rod's about to go off. Don't disappoint the fans. <laughs> Let's see if five fish caught today. Go over. Fortunately, there's not much of a quota factor in here as long as they get a few of the dam. We just need another bite. One more. I can use one more bite. Fill my tag for the day. Fill your tag for the day, that'd be alright. That'd be I would like you say that a lot. I'll just take one more one more bite. <laughs> I think I'm over springs sprayers. Over sprayers ready? Yeah. One and done. One and done. Why well, ruin the rest of my season trying for another one when I just... Dude, I'm already thinking about it. Just put one of those herring on a drop shot rig and belt it over there. Take your weight drop. Take your trailer hook. Hook it on there. Oops. Reel it tight so it's like this. Tell your hooks are right there on the weight drop. Wrap around that convenient little holder. And if I do it this way, I can get all my ten and a half footers in this one side because the other side carries the top. Pink Twisted Addiction gets the first kill of the year. A little disappointed in Blue Aurora, but that's more of a buoy tan ocean estuary kind of gig, you know? So it doesn't surprise me. We are lucky we got one fish. Uh -huh. I wasn't expecting anything. What? But I, but I knew because we were with Don't Cameron you. Black, the legend, <laughs> it, uh, that well, we yeah. would have a good shot at a fish. Anybody else want that fish up there? Because I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's legendary service you, right there. You just lost your fish. Yeah. And That's fine. You're fired as well. And I'm fired? fired. <laughs> All right, guys. Well. We just solved a couple problems right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're heading back to the dock. Jesus, do you see this boat coming at us? Yeah, I don't give a f move, too. <laughs> Turn around, look. All right, guys, we're heading back to the dock, get the fish cleaned up, and uh, I think we're going to show you how to play a springer. I'm not going to show you anything. He's going to show you. God, that's a big boat, real close to us. That's what I want. That's what I want. You want that boat? Yes. Yeah, you're almost off. close enough for you to jump on and take it. Shotgun. Okay, it's like the first one of the year. It's like you get, you get a little nervous, you know. Like I don't know if I remember how to do this or not. So first, 
take the fin. Ooh. It's just like oil and butter just pouring out of this thing. It's kind of pale. It's kind of pale. You probably don't want any of it. Ooh. Super sharp knife, always important. The moment of truth. Get in there way behind the collar. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Remember how to catch him. Gotta remember how to fillet him too. Make sure you don't miss an ounce on these guys. Okay. I think I'm in the game. Ooh. I think I'm in the game, boys and girls. A little cut. Knife does make it easy. We'll get to that in a second. Maybe you want collars? Get a little collar cut. Yeah, they just pop out. Those are good too. That might be lunch when I get home. Jason, you want the collars too? No, that's all right. Take them. Do you want me to do anything else to it? No, that's fine. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Well, I guess it's one thing nice fishing with fishermen. Only Jason will take the fish home, so spoils go to the captain. Uh, you know, kind of what we expected today, like we were talking about at the start. You know, if we got a bite or two, we'd be pretty fortunate. It's still pretty darn early in the season. Of course, we finally got some nice weather, so these fish should be showing up more and more every day. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys be sure, as I've said three times already today, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share this link out there. Share it to your friends. Share it to your fellow Springer fishermen. And hopefully we're gonna have a lot more great episodes of Springer fishing and a whole bunch more stuff as we're getting into the summer and fall. And we got a lot of great stuff coming. So thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the water. Hey, what's up addicts? Thanks so much for tuning into this week's Addicted Life. As always, we're giving you guys an opportunity to win an addicted prize pack from our website, addicted.fishing. All you gotta do is share this out there, share this out there to your family or friends or wherever you guys do, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you like to share things. Share this episode out there for us, give this video a thumbs up, and then comment below. Comment, let us know what your favorite part of the episode was. Just comment, comment below, because that's how we're gonna select a winner is randomly from the comments below. So if your comment's not there, we can't select a winner. Also, you gotta be a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber to our channel, so make sure if you're not that you tap that subscribe button so you can have an opportunity to win an addictive prize pack. As always, thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you on the river.